Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Uh, today, uh, we still, uh, I mean, it's only three o'clock afternoon, or at this moment, uh, 25th of April, 3 p.m. We still have uh, a little time left. Uh, and uh, so uh, we have uh, the NASDAQ still open uh, and uh, this is the three minutes uh, and uh, it's doing very good for the afternoon session. Uh, this morning was a really a lot of a chop. Uh, uh, so let me see if we can get this one out. So on the afternoon session, we got uh, this NASDAQ three minutes. Uh, we got the YM. The YM did very well today as well. Uh, the three minutes uh, got uh, 4,800. And the YM on the 5 minutes got the same number, 4,700. And the YM uh, 4 minutes also almost the same number, 4,900. It's not the auto trade and the time frame, uh, all the matter. Also the market movement uh, is uh, very important. And as we see, different time frame, almost the same money. When the market is moving, there is no problem. Uh, the NASDAQ also here, if we want to combine between the four minutes and the five minutes, yes, there is a little bit different. Uh, there is 5,500 on the four minutes and uh, uh, on the five minutes there is 8,400. But does not mean tomorrow we jump on the five minutes. Could be tomorrow uh, the NASDAQ on the four minutes, maybe it will make more money than the uh, five minutes. Nobody knows. But as long as uh, we keep our eye on the market and see what's going on. Uh, on the ES, uh, the four minutes, we still have one more trade. Uh, 4,600 for the afternoon session. Uh, today, it was not a really a lot of big trades this morning. And um, it was a lot of uh, sideway and chop market. So on the ES uh, uh, 9 range, uh, we got 5,450. Uh, on the YM, 600 takes, which clearly a lot of noises, is 3,650. Uh, on the ES 9 range, we got 4,500. And then on the YM 8 range, we got 2,600. And then the rest, you can see, uh, it was really a lot of a small trade chop. And uh, all of them, they are on a thousand dollar target and they all hit the thousand dollar target. So as we see, uh, this one here nailed 1600. The daily target is 1000. But if the market go into your direction, it's going to stay on that trade until the trade is closed. Uh, on the CL 600 is 1920. On the YM 9 range, we got the 2240. Uh, on the ES 600, just one shot. And if we notice, after we were done, look at this. This is a very nasty for trading and uh, or automated trade. This was really uh, trouble. Uh, maybe here you can make money, but in those area you hardly can make money, which we were done around uh, 118. That's why the scalpers today did very well uh, stand the swing trading. Uh, on the YM500, we got uh, 2365. On the YM10 uh, range, we got 1300. And the NASDAQ5 range, we got 1000. And the YM300, again, is 1000. The YM was doing extremely well. On the ES7 range, we got 1700. On the ES5 range, we got 2187. On the ES 400, we got 1400, and the rest is, as you see, mainly is a scalping, uh, not much happening uh, in here. The 200 takes, uh, there is a lot of scalping trade, and uh, there is not much big trend. Uh, the 6 range, 2200, and the NASDAQ 7 range, uh, 2500, and the NASDAQ 8 range, 1300. On the ES, uh, uh, five, six range, which I like the six range on an ES uh, and the CL. Uh, it's very good. 
and the Nasdaq 9 range is did uh, 1,285 and the 10 range did 1,400 but what I want to show I want to show the scalper uh, today uh, also the scalpers did uh, very very uh, because this morning was the market was not trending so we got to really uh, good deals on the scalpers and uh, all I mean I only have like uh, four or five charts and all of them uh, has hit the target uh, on the scalper uh, and uh, the CL also as well the, the scalper but what is really nice and is more important is the other scalper the one uh, flips between the fib lines and did very well uh, I want to show you this if you give me one second uh, this uh, kind of uh, the M strategy is a scalper between the fibs it is extremely good for days like this uh, they do very well and uh, and uh, uh, what is nice about it is a little bit more forgiven for a new beginner because what it does uh, we adjust itself and uh, and, uh, and then uh, it gets uh, the average price and uh, try to exit as soon as possible if uh, the market goes against you uh, to our me members we uh, we did uh, the, um, uh, the the M strategy uh, for the webinar and uh, we did the 7 range and uh, today the 7 range the one we did the optimization yesterday for the members two times today hit over 1000 two times and right now I just reset it because there is a still an hour to go if we want to look at those trades uh, today it is amazing it's based on one contract all of it one contract one contract and look how the reversal it took the trade from the fib line and then reversed the market and it is an amazing it's a, an amazing uh, uh, strategy and uh, this one here to our members uh, we covered it on Monday and I'm very pleased with it extremely pleased with this uh, template we made uh, yesterday and uh, hit uh, uh, the target two times today and it is going to the uh, third round I don't know how much is gonna get out of the last time but the the entries are amazing and it is really what I really like is that trade here how the market came and reversed the market from the support area this is something and look even here you can see how the market predicted uh, ahead of time and nailed it beautifully uh, right on the spot so this is really amazing I'm very very pleased with it uh, there is much more uh, also uh, on the signal automated trade uh, we have five different automated trade uh, on the signal at this moment uh, we have uh, the Russell uh, on the signal let me take some of these trades down and uh, on this market analyzer there is five auto trades is all in your package there is not uh, all of it is in your package but I want to show you this one here the Russell uh, fire the trade is based on one contract if we look at the market analyzer uh, it is uh, what is the Russell the Russell here uh, based on one contract 142 715 so the market analyzer is based on one contract you can add as many as you want but uh, it is just one contract and if you notice the system estimated where is the target has to be and we missed this target by a couple takes but however on this auto trade you can go like this and if you want to you can extend the trade or if you want to the auto trade when it fires the signal line the target and the trend and stop uh, to uh, the fib line also the scalper I forgot to show you this one here also I mean we did very well we did very well for the chop market today and this is where it separate the boys from the girls when the market is chop and uh, this is where uh, disasters happen and uh, let me see if we have anything else 
uh, we have uh, uh, the NASDAQ also based on one contract from the market analyzer. If we look at the NASDAQ, you don't have to trade every instrument in the market. You can take or choose one or two or three or four. So on the NASDAQ, this is a base on one contract, 59 ticks into the profit. It is 315 is exactly what you see on that auto trade. And this auto trade, this kind of auto trade does not require any optimization, tweaking. You just need to be, um, keep your eye on the market movement. And if we look at the ES, because the ES is just finished, uh, based on one contract made over 100 tick, uh, that's for one contract only. So you don't have to trade all of it. If, as an example, you can trade a micro account or an e-mini, whatever, uh, one or 100 tick uh, on, uh, on the ES, 65 ticks uh, on the NASDAQ, and 211 takes on the YM. You don't have to trade all of them. You can choose which one you want and then you can auto trade it. Folks, that's all what we have for you today. We say thank you very much and God bless everyone. Bye for now.